power system operation and control in two area system solved problem 2 say two area system connected by a tie line has the following parameters with a base mva for each area the parameters are turbine output power in the first area 2000 mva second area 1000 mva and nominal frequency 50 hertz in, in both the cases and speed regulation is 3 percentage in area 1 and 5 percentage in area 2 and power system gain kp is 50 hertz per, per unit megawatt in area 1 and 40 hertz per, per unit megawatt in area 2 and governor time constant tg is 0.3 in area 1 0.2 in area 2 turbine time constant tt is 0.6 in area 1 and 0.4 in area 2 so the synchronizing power coefficient is computed from the initial operating conditions t12 is equal to 2.0 per unit so a load change of 400 megawatt occurs in area 1 so that is del pd1 is 400 megawatt determine the steady state frequency del f stat and change in tie line flow del p time and command the results solution so in this problem they asked to find the change in steady state frequency del f stat and the change in tie line power flow del p time so for that we are going to use this formula del f stat equal to minus del p d2 plus a1 to del p d1 divided by beta 2 plus a1 to beta 1 and for tie line power flow del beta is equal to beta 1 del pd2 minus beta 2 del pd1 divided by beta 2 plus a1 to beta 1 so where this beta is equal to b plus 1 by r so again kp is equal to 1 by b so we are using this formula because the kp value gain value is given in the problem so using this formula b is equal to 1 by kp so for area 1 b1 is equal to 1 by kp1 that is 1 by 50 which is equal to 0 0.02 per unit megawatt per hertz similarly for area 2 1 by kp2 it's 1 by 40 0 0.025 per unit megawatt per hertz so the speed regulation at area 1 is 3 percentage which is given in the problem so the regulation r1 is equal to 3 percentage of 3 divided by 100 into fr by pr so 3 percentage into fr is 50 divided by the rated power is 2000 for the area 1 so that gives you 7.5 into 10 power minus 4 hertz per megawatt so in terms of hertz per per unit megawatt multiply it with the base value 2000 so you'll be getting 1.5 hertz per per unit megawatt similarly for speed regulation at area 2 which is given as 5 percentage so r2 is equal to 5 divided by 100 into 50 by 1000 so 1000 is a rated power for area 2 given that will be equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 hertz per megawatt in terms of hertz per per unit megawatt multiply it with the base value of 1000 we will be getting 2.5 hertz per per unit megawatt so in the problem it is uh, given that load change of uh, 400 megawatt occurs in area 1 that is del pd1 is 400 megawatt so in terms of per unit so 400 divided by area 1 base value is 2000 that gives you 0.2 per unit so this is in area 1 and there is no load change in area 2 so del pd2 is equal to 0 and now we can find beta 1 beta 1 is equal to b1 plus 1 by r1 direct formula so b1 is 0 0.02 already we calculated in the first step plus 1 divided by r1 is 1.5 so that gives you 0 0.6867 and beta 2 is equal to b2 plus 1 by r2 that will be equal to 0 0.025 plus 1 by 2.5 that is 0.425 so and we can calculate the ratio of the rated power a12 equal to pr1 by pr2 so pr1 is 2000 divided by 1000 that gives you 2 so now this change in steady state to frequency del f start equal to minus del pd2 plus a1 to del pd1 divided by beta2 plus a1 to beta1 so substituting all the values we found in the previous steps so you'll be getting del f stat equal to minus 0.2224 hertz and the system frequency is modified into f is equal to f0 plus del f the f0 is 50 the nominal frequency plus the change in 
frequency del f star equal to minus 0.2224 that gives you 49.777 hertz second one change in tie line power we can calculate using this formula so substituting the beta value del p d2 is 0 so the first term becomes 0 and uh, beta 2 del p d1 is 0.2 in per unit divided by beta 2 plus a12 into beta 1 so you will be getting minus 0 0.0472 per unit so in terms of uh, megawatt multiply it with the rated power so rated power at uh, the area 1 is 2000 so multiply that you will be getting minus 94.52 megawatt this is a tie line power flow so due to the change in frequency there will be a change in generation for area 1 and change in load so for area 1 change in generation del pg1 is equal to minus del f by r1 so change in frequency del f equal to minus minus of minus become plus 0.2224 divided by r1 is 1.5 that gives you 0.149 per unit so in terms of megawatt multiply it with the rated power be getting 298 megawatt and similarly for change in generation for area 2 del pg2 equal to minus del f by r2 so substituting that value will be getting 0 0.08896 per unit in terms of megawatt will be getting 88.96 megawatt in the same way the change in load for area 1 del pd1 equal to b1 del f so multiplying b1 with the change in steady state frequency will be getting minus 4.448 into 10 power minus 3 per unit in terms of megawatt it is minus 8.896 megawatt similarly for load in area 2 del pd2 equal to b2 del f so multiplying will be getting minus 5.56 into 10 power minus 3 per unit in terms of megawatt it is minus 5.56 megawatt so the change in total load del pd equal to del pd1 plus del pd2 adding these two answers you will be getting minus 14.456 megawatt so the results are del f start equal to minus 0.2224 hertz and the frequency is 49.777 hertz and the tie line power flow del p tie is equal to minus 94.52 megawatt change in generation del pg1 is 298 megawatt del pg2 is 88.96 megawatt and the change in load del pd1 is minus 8.896 megawatt del pd2 is minus 5.56 megawatt we can comment on these results the first one is the tie line power of 94.52 megawatt flows from area 2 to area 1 so we calculated the tie line power flow for area 1 so the answer we got in negative that means the tie line power flows from area 2 to area 1 the value is 94.52 megawatt from the second area the power is flowing to first area the second area power the change in generation in the second area is 88.96 megawatt this power comes from the increased generation in the area 2 88.96 and the remaining 5.56 megawatt comes from the reduction in area 2 load due to the frequency drop so this is minus 5.56 megawatt so if you add these two values you will be getting 94.52 megawatt that is your tie line power flow